My name is Robert Coffin. I'm an agronomist and we're here in Green Bay, PEI. Uh, my wife and I here at our own farm, we run a potato breeding operation. We're trying to develop new varieties of potatoes to satisfy different market requirements for the potato industry. Um, we have about 135 acres of land here, but we're only farming 10 acres at the present time. All my life I've been involved in different aspects of potato research. I worked for Cavendish Farms as an agronomist for 19 years. I retired two years ago when I started my own consulting company. And uh, I have many projects on, on potato production and quite a few of them involve plant mineral nutrition. So I was approached by the Canadian Fertilizer Institute to, uh, to run some trials to examine uh, specific issues of the 4R program. The 4R program certainly has merit to proper use of fertilizer and at the same time to minimize uh, any environmental issues that might be related to the overuse or misuse of fertilizer. On PEI every year there's approximately 90 to 100,000 acres of potatoes grown and it's certainly recognized that you have to use uh, some fertilizer in order to get uh, respectable yields of potatoes. Um, for many years I did trials on different rates and sources of fertilizer at Cavendish Farms and another interesting variable is that every variety of potato has uh, different requirements so when you're doing fertilizer trials the fertilizer rate or, or product that you use for one variety uh, it, it may not be the, the right amount for, for another variety so we have to take into account the response of different potato varieties to, to applied fertility. Um, the, the objective of doing the research both then and now is to generate credible data under local conditions. We have to realize that if we went to the library and looked at research reports from Idaho and Washington, it's a whole different world there. So we, we need to generate data under PEI conditions and uh, do it in collaboration with the farmers so that uh, they're, they're part of the, the project and they always have very interesting comments and questions. And, and, and unless we can answer the questions feasibly or properly to the growers, they're not going to buy in. The traditional practice of fertilizing potatoes in Prince Edward Island has been to apply all of the fertilizer at planting. There have been experiments conducted for the addition of supplementary applications of fertilizer during the growing season. Uh, the way that this is done is by broadcasting uh, supplementary nitrogen, uh, such as ammonium nitrate or urea, during the growing season. Another way is uh, putting urea in the spray tank when you're spraying fungicides in the crop. Some growers put five pounds of urea every time they per, per acre every time they spray the potatoes with fungicides. We have very limited irrigation on Prince Edward Island. We did do some trials with irrigation equipment to apply the fertilizer through the irrigation, which is called fertigation. But because the irrigation is only accounts for five or six percent of the potato acreage in PEI, it's not really a, a widespread practice. In Idaho or Washington, uh, it's a, virtually 100 percent irrigation and it's part of the farming practice to add fertilizer during the growing season to, to meet the crop, crop requirements. The, the, the question about placement of the fertilizer products, there, there have been numerous debates about uh, banned applications uh, versus broadcasting. Uh, most of the fertilizer in PEI is banded in with uh, the crop at planting. And uh, we're starting to see some farmers pre-broadcasting uh, certain parts of the fertilizer requirements beforehand. 
and putting less in the bands and, and, and there's data being generated. Basically before you go making any big change in your farming practices, you have to generate data from a number of location years to be able to speak with confidence. It's not a good idea to make a sudden change.